Hello, this is part of Brian's tag. Um, I'm just going to, it might be at the end of my video or in the middle or somewhere. I'm going to ramble a bit. A little like reintro to my channel. Now, 2666 is a uh, masterpiece in my opinion. And uh, some of my uh, friends and colleagues disagree. Imagine that. Uh, but you see, these bricks make uh, Ulysses look small, don't, don't they? I mean, but I'm, I'm thinking of changing my the name of my channel to Big Hard Bricks and Classics. Uh, I watched this movie last night, and I'll probably watch it again. I love this movie. This is hilarious, man. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there. So I'm using uh, this to watch movies when I'm not writing. Uh working on my own fiction I'm looking in still you know this is a big hard book and classic the book of monel I've been reading it for months and i've been reading this for a while too i've got a lot of notes on it and i'm gonna get to a review sometimes tags are easier to do than uh, original material. So thanks for the tag, Brian. Onward and up to it. <laughs> Onward and upward, do it. Uh, Booktuber, you not only... Oh, shoot. I'm already fucking this up. One. But which Booktuber underrates themselves? Um, oh, man. I feel like copping out on half these. Uh, I'm going to go with Alex Black. Because she... Uh, she gets all like a, like a, my crummy bookshelf and my boring life title and something that makes me want to, I mean, I like her channel and she reads uh, current books and she's on spot on, but she's funny. It makes me want to um, fly out there to her and uh, buy her a pizza and eat half of it and uh, give her a warm hug goodbye at the airport or something. I don't know. Uh, two, um, which booktuber doesn't take themselves seriously, or too seriously. Now, um, I was going to, I thought of a few I could put in here, but then I thought, they're going to be mad at me. Like, how dare you? I take myself seriously. <laughs> uh, you know, but I'm going to put uh, Rebecca at uh, Rapacious Reads. She is hilarious. She's a librarian, and um, uh, just, I think she's funny as hell. And uh, I really like her, so I'm going to put her there. Three, which booktuber has an understated delivery? Caleb. Now, he's been quiet lately, but um, he's a southern gentleman and uh, reads a lot of poetry. Hasn't really put up uh, anything, uh, you know, book-wise, but he's put up views from his beautiful backyard and neck of it. The woods, you know, so I'm gonna put Caleb there in three, four, which booktuber, quirky rambling style. Here I was gonna say somebody, but then I thought he's gonna get offended. <laughs> How dare you, you know? But I'm gonna go with Paper Bird, because he's like a genius a filmmaker, and he uh, is a well read booktuber. Um, you know, put him in category five or uh, the next one, Paper Bird, he's been busy doing other things lately, but his style is great. He's like a director. And Five, which booktuber has a highbrow lit, or reads highbrow literature or something? I'm going to go with uh, The Book Chemist. And a lot of these booktubers don't need my shoutouts. I don't even really interact with them. So I should be thinking more of like, um, you know, small time people like me. Uh, I also want to say here, apropos nothing, I don't know where people like Brian and others find the time to watch every, all their subscribers and, and that and comment and then come up with original content and then go on with their lives and like, um, you know, work and I don't know how you do it. It, it. Any tips? Tell me, tell me. Where was I? So the book chemist, I'm going to put Mark Nash here too in five. It seems like Mark Nash, uh, Mark with a C, 
in London, right? Uh, he, uh, I noticed he, he's, he's like one up on me all the time now. He, he's already read and reviewed Milkman, which I'm going to review probably right after this. I loved it, and I haven't watched his yet, so I'm curious to see. I hope he liked it, because we, we kind of disagree on some books. Like, um, 2666, um, wasn't his cup of tea, um, you know, he's a, uh, Savage Detectives by the same translator wasn't either, which I haven't read yet, but, um, I love 2666, and also Jason, um, didn't get through it, I guess, uh, from his video, so, uh, that was just disappointing, because I, I think it's a work of genius, I'm going to reread it again this year, maybe next year, might read it, uh, um, there's a, a book out about how to read uh, like a reference book. Which booktuber has quiet demeanor? Hmm, man. Alex Black. I gotta get, give it up to her. Seven, so, which booktuber intelligence and depth? I'm gonna go with Jen at um, Remembered Reads in Toronto. I'm gonna have something to say about Jen in a second, too. Or not Jen about Toronto. About both y'all. Um, eight, what booktuber is warm and fuzzy? I'm going to go with Todd the Librarian. I mean, he's coming up in the end, too, so I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, warm and friendly. Uh, okay, um, scratch out, uh, Todd. Um, number nine, which booktuber is self-deprecating? I'm going to go with another... Uh, British friend from London, Dane Reads. He's a uh, great channel. Funny gentleman, very. Uh, quiet, measured delivery. Janet remembered Reads I had down. Um, oh, I gotta put uh, Alex and Big Al's books in one of these categories. Um, but I, first I want to get to uh, Toronto and the Raptors. And I want to say, go Bucks! And uh, hashtag fear the deer. I think that's about it, except for um, my added category is uh, the booktubers I want to meet up with. And those are, uh, in no particular order, Dan Reeds in London. Uh, we're going to jam at his pub. He plays guitar, uh, bring my harmonicas along. We'll not only have a blast, we'll uh, make some money. <laughs> uh, two, uh, Todd the Librarian in Kentucky. I'd like to go visit Todd. Um, I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to go hunt with Todd. And I, I used to hunt. I don't know if I'd uh, shoot with a gun or a camera. But I'd go along with them, we'd have fun, and then uh, eat uh, some venison, or um, maybe just have fun hunting, and then eat what he's got already in his uh, freezer. That surprised me. We'd have fun. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Brian at Bookish. I have already planned out um, um, Roanoke. Faulkner's uh, mansion and museum and all that. So I uh, follow my father's advice on visits. Um, you know, uh, how does he put it? Ah, yes. Visitors are like fish. After two, three days, they begin to stink. Ta-ta! All right, hold the phone. I just had a minor epiphany here. Because seriously, I was uh, thinking, how insensitive of me. I'm talking about uh, Dane, and um, he's a vegan. And then I'm going on about Todd and how we're going to go hunting and eat venison and kill, eat what we kill her. I don't know what I said, but then I, I uh, just dawned on me. You know, 
Is that being insensitive? A little bit. I live in Portland. Uh, vegan, vegan city, baby. And I eat vegan, too. It's uh, not all the time, you know, at all. But, you know, Indian food is primarily vegan. And uh, uh, we have a lot of great vegan restaurants. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> after having that thought, I know that Dane and Todd are friends. And Todd talks about... Um, you know, his lifestyle and that, and Dayton talks about his lifestyle and that, his cooking, you know, he, uh, his recipes for vegan, um, buffalo wings, for example, or whatever. And they, you know, it's not an issue, so that's kind of cool that we don't have, like, that issue where... Straighten up my bookshelf a little bit. Uh, like, um, hmm. these uh, two books, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte, and this brick of uh, the uh, bio I'm going to read for Victober. I am into Pinch on Red Gravity's Rainbow twice, second time last year with audio. Halfway through Against the Day, loving it, reading it with audio. Um, I read that 20 years ago. Mason and Dixon will read it again. I'm waiting for the book chemists to catch up. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the, the books, Faulkner section. I might as well kind of uh, tease. We're, we're going to be doing Light in August. Ah, shit, shit, damn, man this August, and uh, me and someone else, it's going to, I'd like to, I, I'm not really going to announce it because we haven't set uh, the parameters or details of it, like, uh, I'd like it to be a read-along where we just, I mean, um, my friend, alternate chapters and everything, but it's a total, totally readable book, I, one of my favorite Faulkner books. You don't really need secondary sources to read it, like you do with, uh, you know, um, Sound Inferior Epsilon. Epsilon? Uh, I'm going to read, uh, now, 2666 is a uh, masterpiece, in my opinion. And uh, some of my uh, friends and colleagues disagree. Imagine that. Uh, I'm going to have a buddy read with my father later this summer with probably my favorite American novel. I think it was Hemingway's too, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. But you see these bricks make uh, the Ulysses look small, don't, don't they? I mean, but I'm, I'm thinking of changing my the name of my channel to Big Hard Bricks and Classics. Working on my own fiction. And here's my setup for see, I so I'm, I'm reading like old classics, but I'm reading new books too. I've always read new books that come out. You know, it's a brand new book. I have a review on this book coming out. I, uh, this is my, uh, laptop over here. I set up, uh, audio books on this actually. Um, DVD book. Got a review on this coming out soon. Uh, Unsheltered coming out soon. I'm gonna read T.C. Boyle. This looks like a great book. This new one, uh, I don't even know the title of it. Outside looking in. Still, 